So when you click on the Soul Boost tab over here, you will see some quests. Each quest you complete will give you points. Each point will go towards this bar and every time you complete a level, you will get the corresponding rewards. So I'm just going to be walking through the Soul Boost quest so you can complete this really fast, okay? So the first thing is to clear Shrouded Ajanara on easy or normal difficulty. As a new player, you want to focus on easy mode for everything, okay? So click M on your keyboard and you want to go to Soul Lock, okay? Once you go there, you're going to go to the Ajanara Monastery. So here we go. So now that we're here, let's go to the exact location. So just go up these stairs and you want to talk to this guy right here. Collect your quest, go through the portal, collect your quest again, and you just want to go to easy mode. Okay. It's that simple. Now, if you don't see the quest, you can click J, go to quest letters and look for anything pertaining to shrouded Ajinara. Okay. So it's that simple. Okay. Go inside on easy mode and kill the boss. Once you complete the boss, you can just go back here and it will be completed. Okay. You collect your rewards. So the next quest is the Coldrax Lair daily quest. And to complete this, you just need to wait for the spawn time of the dragon. Okay. So once you go to epic challenge, you will see the different spawn time. Once it's the right time, you can just go in from the notification at the bottom of your screen. Go in, collect the quest, kill the dragon, and then complete the quest from inside the dragon lair. Okay. So that's basically how you complete that. Now the next one is the Dark Willed Daily Quest. Okay, to complete this, you click F8. Collect the quest here. Then you just need to kill 200 of the mobs below. Now you can use auto combat in this zone. So if you go to this button here, it will trigger auto combat. So yeah. Now, after completing this mission, the next one you want to focus on is the Sanctum of the Masters. Okay, so how do you complete this quest? You're going to go to your map again by clicking M, go to Solok, and then you want to go back to a Janara Monastery. Now, to go to the Sanctum of the Masters, you just want to go up these stairs real quick. And you can see it on your map over here. So yeah, make sure to collect your quest. Now you want to do this at easy mode as a new player, or you can just do normal mode. But then again, normal mode is harder, but you just need to kill like two or three mobs in order to complete the quest. So yeah, go inside and then go to the location and then kill the mobs. Okay. So that should complete the Sanctum of the Master's quest. Now the next one is the Sogun's Lament daily quest. So for this, you just need to go to Sogun's Lament. Okay. And this is a dungeon in F8. Now as a new player, you should know that the F8 lobby is not working. So if you do click look for a party, you will not find anyone because nobody uses this system. Okay. So how do you recruit for Sogun's Lament? So as you can see, this is Sogan's Lament. As a new player, you need to focus on easy mode, okay? This is the easy difficulty, which means it has lower HP. So it's easy for a new player to just jump in and clear super easy, okay? So how do you recruit, okay? Let me go back to open world. And so in order to make a party, you just click Control and J. This will bring up the game guide, okay? Look for the dungeon that you want to recruit for. So you see Sogan's Lament, if you click that, you're going to hit the chat link. So this will put the Sogan's Lament in your chat. Make sure to go to world chat. Okay. If you don't have world chat enabled, go to your chat settings and enable it. Okay. So easy mode, apply to me one out of four or one out of six. This is a six person dungeon. And you're going to send that in your world chat. Okay. So as long as you have world chat enabled, basically you will see recruiting message. So you can see here, this person is recruiting people for Sogan's Lament and Bloodshed Harbor. Easy mode apply. So you just right click on their name and you click apply to party. And then they will decide if they want you in their party. Okay. 
Now, as a new player, you want to apply for easy mode recruits because you won't have the DPS or the gear to do normal mode or hard mode, okay? Sometimes people will carry you for normal mode, but it is best to do easy mode as a new player, okay? So after you're through with your Sogan's Lament quest, the next thing you want to focus on is your Chimera Lab and your Abyssal Throne daily quest, okay? So this is the Abyssal Throne dungeon and this is the Chimera Lab dungeon, okay? So it says here that you need to complete the daily quest. So it doesn't matter if it's the easy mode, hard mode, or the normal mode, okay? As a new player, you want to focus on easy mode, okay? So here's what you're going to do. So on the screen, you can see that we have a stage 2 soul boost and a stage 3 soul boost, okay? On the stage 2, you can see that I have some ticked already. We completed those. So we're just going to be moving on to the Chimera Lab and the Abyssal Throne daily quest, okay? So as you can see, the yellow arrow is going to the Abyssal Throne. So this is the dungeon that will complete that quest. The red arrow is going to the Chimera Lab, and that is the dungeon that will complete that quest. Now, when you look over on your Stage 3 Soul Boost, you can see that you have Heaven's Mandate and you have Coal Storage. Again, all four of these dungeons are located on your Heroic tab, okay? So once you go in F8, you're seeing all these four dungeons on that page. Now, to recruit people for this, you type Abyssal Throne, Chimera Lab, Easy Mode, CS and HM, which stands for Cold Storage and Heaven's Mandate, apply to me one out of four. Okay, now the one out of four, you're gonna change this. So if you have two persons in your party, you're gonna change this to two out of four, three persons, three out of four. Once you get four, you just go inside the dungeon. Okay, also you have the option to do this in two parts. So you have Abyssal Throne and Chimera Lab in one set, and then Cold Storage and Heaven's Mandate in the other set. Whichever method you use, it doesn't matter. You're going to get the same results. So, yeah. Now, let's go on to stage 3 of your soul boost because you should be done with stage 1 and stage 2. Okay, so we're almost there. So, stage 3 of your soul boost is completing the Demon's Bane section of your FA lobby. Okay, with the exception of Coal Storage and Heaven's Mandate that you should have completed already. So, yeah. Recruit your party with the message above which says Soul Boost Train, Sanguine, Sky Song, Yeti, and Chaos Supply Chain times 3 run, okay? Now, let's do the breakdown. For Sanguine Abyss, you just need to do 3 runs of stage 1. So, get your party, go inside the dungeon, complete the dungeon, take the portal, wait until everyone is out, then go back in and do this for 3 runs, okay? Once you're done with the dungeon, you're going to wait until everyone is out. Then you're going to click exit. This will bring all your party members back to the dungeon lobby. If you're not the party leader, then you have to wait until the party leader click exit and bring everyone back to the dungeon lobby. Okay, then you're going to go to Sky Song. You're going to do two runs of stage one and then you're going to change it to stage three. Once you do stage three, you will get the stage two completion. Okay. So you don't need to do stage one and two and then three, no. Just do two runs of stage one and then one stage three of Sky Song, then you're done. It's that simple. Jump into the Yeti, you're gonna do the same thing. Two runs of stage one, then one run of stage three, then you're done. Go to Chaos Supply Chain and do three runs of stage one and then you're done. You're done with the stage three quest on to stage four of the soul boost. So we're moving pretty fast, okay? So for the stage four soul boost quest, these are mainly weekly quests. So if you go to Favor and Fortune, you should have this completed already. If you collected uh, the quest from the notice board at the dungeon entrance in F8, okay? So you should have at least two out of five kills already. And for this, you need to kill the Grim Nexus boss, the Chimera Lab, and the Abyssal Throne bosses. And as you know, you completed the Abyssal Throne and you completed Chimera Lab. If you have three more boss skills, then you just need to do Grim Nexus times three because that is the easiest dungeon out of the three, okay? As for the Masterful Task quest, you should have this completed already if you collected your quest from the notice board at the dungeon entrance, okay? So these include Sanguine Abyss, Chaos Avalanche Den, 
Chaos Supply Chain or Sky Song Isle. If you kill five of these bosses, it doesn't matter if it's the five same boss whatsoever. Now, all of these quests can be found in your weekly quest section. So, yeah. Now, for the Ruler of the Realms quest, you just need to complete Shrouded Ajanara seven times. Now, you should have completed it one time already. So, going again for six more runs should be way easy with the extra gear that you gain already. So, yeah. Now, for the last two quests, you need to do Chaos Avalanche Den Stage 5 and Sky Song Isle Stage 5. Now, guys, this is where you really need to learn the mechanics of this dungeon. Stage 5 is there for you to learn so you can move on to Stage 8 once you acquire the gear. Now, Sky Song Isle will no longer be a Demon's Bane dungeon by the end of this month, so you don't have to focus too much on that dungeon. Focus on learning the mechanics for the Yeti dungeon. You have guides on YouTube, so you can check that out, okay? Now, guys, please listen up. This part is very important. Now, the Soul Boost is asking you to complete Sky Song Isle at stage levels, okay? Once Sky Song Isle becomes a heroic dungeon, it will no longer have stages, okay? That means you won't be able to complete those quests in the Soul Boost, okay? Now, if you understand where I'm getting at, is that you won't be able to complete Soul Boost if that quest is bugged, okay? Now, what's supposed to happen is that the new dungeon, which is the Chaotic Cooler or the Naryu Foundry, should have quests to replace the Sky Song quest. But don't hold for that. In the past, they bugged it. So, you don't want to be in that set that is sitting down and waiting for a Soul Boost to be fixed. You can complete your Soul Boost in 3 hours, so get cracking, okay? Once you're done with Soul Boost, equip your outfit and then collect your Soul Boost Plus rewards, okay? Now, the Soul Boost Plus quests are straightforward, so I'm not going to go into that. So, yeah, let's jump into what to do with each item from your Soul Boost tab, okay? Okay, so for the Soul Shields, you should equip them. For the Weapon and Accessories, you should equip them as well. The Gem Hammers will give you more slots to put more gems. These are the gems that you should socket to your weapon. These are the items that you should equip to your character as well. You have the pet gems. Click on your pet. Hit the preview tab. This is where you put your pet gems, okay? For your unity stones, you hit control and H. This will bring up your unity tab. Go to splendor stone. This is where you're going to unbox these and you're going to add them here, okay? So you want this to be all yellow, all uh, red, all blues with the legendary tier, okay? For the skill books, you need to click on them and they will give you uh, skill points. And these skill points you can put into your highest damage skills to get more DPS, okay? This is the Pet Aura Evolution Stone and this will be used to level up your pet. So you click on your pet, go to Evolve, and then you will see the stones, okay? So not every stone will work. So you will see that it's asking for a different stone. You will get this in your Soul Boost later on, okay? So we're going down, we're going down, we're going down. So you have some other uh, Evolution Stone, and this is for your Talisman. So just hover over the Evolution Stone and look at the description you see talisman you go to your talisman and then you click on that and you just use the stone there now as i said certain stones only use on certain talisman okay so if it's not upgrading now there is a stone later on in the soul boost that will do it for you okay now these are soul shield primers now you don't want to use these on this soul shield here okay save these for your soul shield that you get from your soul boost plus okay so for the true porohan soul shields you want to use your soul shield primers okay so let me show you how you do it you just click on one of your soul shields click manage equipment then it will pop up for you to send the soul shield primers over to use it on your soul shield and this will give you more critical on your soul shields okay now, you can add it to all of your soul shields, okay? You can decide if you want to use it on this soul shield or your true power on soul shield. It doesn't matter. Or you can come to this merchant here. He also sells some. So, yeah, you can get replacements, okay? 
so back to the soul boost tab so we're going down we're going down we're going down again these are unity stones hit control and h and you equip them to there okay going down this is your amulet amulets go here and here okay now certain amulets go to certain slots so if it's not going on you need to try the other slots if you have something in that spot just remove it and then try to replace it okay now these are the best ones for you if you're a new player so yeah now you will see some uh soul boost psyches now each soul boost psyches are for specific items okay so you have to read the description to see what items you can use it on so you have the soul heart pet aura or the talisman okay so you can use this on either item here okay so if you click on it go to augmentation you can use this to get more stats okay so you want to just use the five on your talisman you will get some more later on down in the soul boo so don't worry here's some more here's some more okay so you will get enough for this 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 and this okay easy peasy so we're going down we're going down this is the soul boost psyche and this is for your ring or earring or your necklace okay now for these items i wouldn't advise you to use them on the star cross accessories that is a waste okay wait until you have the uh the storm tide accessory or you can use them on your oculus i would advise you to use it on your storm tide or your blood knight accessories because you don't want to waste it on these okay so yeah also we have some more evolution stones again every evolution stone that you get will upgrade your weapon your heart your pet your talisman and your soul okay so please pay attention just click on your items do not upgrade them with these materials if you see an evolution stone over here there's an item there to upgrade it for you don't waste your materials and your goal trying to do it yourself okay if you're a new player the game is giving you all these free gear so take advantage of it okay so we're going down we're going down these are still psyches again that you use on your augmentation tab okay so you click on your accessory go to augmentation and this is where you're gonna put all of these psyches okay click on your weapon you go to augmentation these tabs are for psyches okay we're going down we're going down so you have here the portrait chest this contains cards okay so you go to here which is escape and you look for the art gallery and this is where they go to okay so once you have these things lit up you can click on them and click register and then boom so it's like a collection i'm not really gonna go in depth with this system i'm not really a fan of this system so yeah we're going down we're going down so here you might get some uh so here you're getting some soul boo special etching stones so here's how you're going to use them okay go to escape go to compound tab once you're at the compound tab you're going to add them here okay so once you click on them you will see that you can use it okay it will cost you materials so yeah you click apply etching stone and it will give you stat you choose to keep the stat or change the stat okay what you want for this is the mystic and crit damage okay as a new player so the game will give you uh some soul boost etching stone that is only mystic and crit damage so you don't have to worry about any chances okay once you're using the soul boost one okay now you will also get some hong moon belt our power potential items so this is for your compound tab okay again go to the bottom of your screen go to compound this is where you're going to place the items that you're no longer using okay so once you replace your star cross accessories which is these accessories with your oculus then you're going to add the all accessories in here to increase the power potential of your stones okay so if you have the oculus ring and you no longer need the star cross ring you're gonna click this and it will show you all the items that you can add over okay 
So this is where you're going to sacrifice your star cross ring that you're not using. Okay. And then you're going to add it here. So you want to make sure that you have accessories on all of these boxes. Okay. Now, if you don't have the accessories or any old accessories, you can use the Hong Moon belt. But again, you can replace it with better items. So once you're done with the Oculus tier gear, you can send them over to this part of your compound tab to increase the amount of mystic that you're getting from each of these stones. I do have other videos going in depth with this, but I'm not going to go too much in depth. OK, so we're going down, we're going down, we're going down. Again, it's basically the same thing. Now for this, we have the Mystic Badge Chest. Once you open this, make sure you choose the one that is for your class, okay? So if you don't know what class you're using, hit P. Once you hit P, you should see here Force Master or whatever class you're using. So yeah, make sure you select the right badge for your class. Once you open it, replace the badge that you have here, okay? Do not forget this. We're going down, we're going down. You should see some Storm Psyche. These are for your Soul Badge and your Mystic Badge. Your Mystic Badge and your Soul Badge. Click on it, click Manage Equipment, go to Augmentation, and this is where you're going to put your Psyches again, okay? We're going down, we're going down, we're going down. These boxes here are for your Unity tab. Again, hit Control H, and you put them in here, okay? We're going down, we're going down again, more unity stones. And these are your Oculus accessories, okay? This accessory here. This accessory here should replace the star cross items, okay? So once you get these chests here, which is the Soul Boost Oculus chest, you're gonna replace the star cross items, okay? So by the end of Soul Boost, you should have all of these items as. Oculus, Oculus ring, earring, necklace, bracelet, belt, glove, okay? We're going down, we're going down. This is where you're going to see your weapon evolution stones, okay? These stones, you use them for your weapon to upgrade, okay? Ignore all of these. Focus on this tab here. If it's not working, just click on it, and you will see the cost as zero, and you can upgrade this all the way to plus 11 for free, okay? I think plus 10. I'm not sure, but yeah, plus 11. So let's go down. We're going down. We're going down. You see your Oculus glove and all that coming in. Okay. Now you have here some insignia chests. Now, once you open these chests, you will go over to your insignia page here, which is uh, control K. Okay. Once you open them, you will see your insignias start to load in. Okay. Now this tab over here is for damage. This one over here is for uh, cooldown reduction or uh, survivability. And for the yellow ones, it is mainly for defense, okay? Now, the purple ones here are special insignias, okay? These will give you pretty much anything, okay? So, yeah, just read the description and then you will understand each of the stones. Now, this is a page that you will be changing up a lot. So keep that in mind. Now, I won't go in depth, but you can search on YouTube for insignia guide. I don't have a current one up at the moment, but I will in the future. OK, so check back for that. So we're going down, we're going down, we're going down here. You will see another amulet. So again, I stated that the first amulet will go here. The second amulet that you get will go here. OK, again, you're getting some more insignia chests, and this is how you're going to get a chunk of your damage in Demon's Bane content. Now, you have to fully understand how the insignia page works, and I can't explain it in this video, but I will have a guide out pretty soon. OK, so check back maybe next week or by the weekend. I'm not sure. So, yeah, we're going down, we're going down, we're going down. Again, some more psyches, and this is for your bracelet, okay? Going down, going down, going down, some more items. This is your soul bad chest. Again, make sure you select the one for your class. This will, this one here will replace this one over here, okay? This is your soul boost outfit chest, okay? So you need to equip this in order to unlock your soul boost plus, okay? 
once you unlock your soul boost plus you should get at least five of these open i think no four of these should be open for you already so yeah it is not hard to complete soul boost trust me it is fun for like the first three characters after that it's like work but you can complete like a ton of characters in a week okay now if you're a new player obviously you won't have that much character but just focus on getting your character uh done with soul boost so you can focus on soul boost plus now for soul boost plus you need to get the blood knight accessory and these are end game items so i would advise you to learn the mechanics for the dungeons okay now once you have any of the accessory listed here you will get another weapon which is the true upsurge weapon okay now this weapon will transfer you will transfer this weapon into a plus six true upsurge by the succession tab okay once you're done with that then you're gonna keep that weapon there do not try to upgrade it past stage six okay i'm not sure if it's the succession or you can use the upsurge evolution stone to upgrade the true upsurge from scratch i'm not sure i haven't gotten my alt this weapon as yet so i wouldn't know but yeah just keep this at plus six do not upgrade this trap weapon at all you were warned so if you plan to upgrade this just know that you're on your own and succession is not for new players okay if you get the blood knight ring earring or anything upgrade those from scratch okay don't try to upgrade the oculus accessories either just upgrade them to like a plus six leave them there try to get the 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 blood knight accessories and then upgrade that from scratch okay so yeah with that being said, this is the end of the video. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Like, share, and subscribe, and goodbye.